So in today's video, we're going to do a review of the auto blocking tool, Journalist AI. So this is the tool here. I'll leave a link in the description and the first comment. So as you can see, it's an AI SEO writer that auto publishes to your blog. So you can get three articles for free if you want to try it out. But let's first look at the pricing here. So if you're just looking at doing one month, for example, then you it costs $59 a month and you get 100 credits per month. So that generally does give you like 100 blog posts, but the credits do not roll over. So be sure that you do use the credits because they you will lose them if you don't use them, right? So you get with that unlimited auto blogs, right? So you can generate and auto publish to any sort of website you get. So this kind of basic plan has quite a lot of features, actually. You know, we have internal and external linking, so you don't need, you know, a special AI tool to find internal links to you. External linking is very important nowadays, so you have to show that you are linking to authoritative sources so that, you know, it, Google can trust that you know what you're talking about and you're taking some good sources. So you can also have a Google auto-indexing tool, so... You know, as soon as you publish, sometimes it can take a few days, a few weeks before you actually get your content indexed with Google. It's also connected to the web, right? So that will actually scrape the web results and, you know, add that as part of the research in your articles. And the integrations, we'll talk about that a bit later. Um, we have different languages here, so 150 languages. So that's definitely something we should look into when looking at this tool. Uh, there's featured and in-article images, okay? So... You can use images, depends on your niche. Some niches need more images than other ones. You have YouTube videos that are automatically found that are relevant to the topic that you're talking about and insert, inserted to the article. There's keyword research and you can write up to 500,000 words per month in this plan. So that is probably plenty for most people to use. If you are more of an agency or you run many websites, then maybe this is the plan for you, right? It costs 125 $129, sorry, per month. Okay. And yeah, that's just basically you get 200 credits. So, you know, if you want to do a lot more writing, more and more publishing, two and a half million words here with this plan. Okay. And you can save quite a bit, 40% off. As you see, it goes to $39 a month. It was at $59 a month. So you save a lot by buying the yearly plan. So a lot of people will ask whether these articles rank in Google. I've actually made plenty of videos about this tool. So if you look back over my channel, I have many articles that I've created with Journalist AI and some of them are ranking in Google already. So I've got one in position three. I've got another one in the top three as well. So it just depends on the writing that you're doing, okay? Because if you write articles that are highly, highly competitive, this probably won't rank unless you add a lot of multimedia and you know you have a high domain rating. So there's more to it than just the writing tool, okay? So there's the domain that you have, that you're writing on, and especially how much competition, that's what I find. If there's low competition, then you probably will have a higher chance of ranking. So you can get three free articles here. I already have articles in my account, so I'm just gonna go to my dashboard and log in and we can see what the tool looks like. So this is the tool here. You're, you're generally gonna use this generate articles section. That's like the most important one, right? And they've actually cleaned this up a little bit so it makes it easier. So if you just want to do something simple, then all you need to do is fill out these boxes here. The title, right, is very important. And the content, what language, and then generate the article, okay? So if you want something simple, then you can do something simple. Or there's the more advanced options. I generally either look at the advanced options each time or use a preset. So you might want to use a preset if you have, you know, different websites. So maybe one about a dog, one about a cat. You know, and you might need to change depending on the website, right? You'll see now in a minute. So there are two types of article here. There's the SEO article or the AI news article. So for most of you, it'll probably be the SEO article that we will be using, right? And we also have here keyword and title mode, okay? So in this case, you can put in your focus keyword and then the title that you want to use so you can see here the different already examples right so your focus keyword could be best restaurant in vegas and then what's the best restaurant in vegas that's the title that you want i highly recommend doing this because before when i was using the tool sometimes it was difficult to try to 
uh, get the right article that I was looking for. Sometimes it, it was changing the title or something like that. And yeah, it wasn't getting the article that I wanted. But they have been updating this a lot. And this is one of the reasons why I like this tool the most, right? Because they've been updating and updating and updating. And, you know, you can request different features here, as, as you see. And they seem to be listening to people and adding more and more features. A lot of AI writing, blogging tools basically just get made in one weekend and then, you know, nobody is paying attention to them anymore. So this is great, right? You can do lots of stuff here. A lot of the stuff sometimes, you know, you might just keep the same, right? So that's why you set the preset, right? I always like to write in the second person. I think that's the most important thing. And I also ch try to do informal because AI tends to write in 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 very formal language and I don't really like that I think it's better to speak in informal English so you can also include keywords this could be your LSI keywords right these are just like related keywords so how to break bread uh, then it might be something you know like dough or sourdough or you know something that's related that you want added into the article you can also connect your knowledge base, right? So if you have, you know, information, you know, SOPs or something, you can already add them in here. So we'll follow that and connect to the web. I highly recommend doing this. This makes your article so much better than if you don't connect it. You can also choose your formatting here, right? So so this was a problem before. There was um, different lists, right? Bullet points lists that weren't coming out correctly. They seem to have fixed this one too. So that's Something that I really, really like about this tool is that they keep updating it and improving it. And you'll see now with some of these other features that really make it stand out from the other AI blogging tools. So you can also use a call to action, right? If you have a product, right? You just type in the, the URL of the product and there will be links directed to the products within the article. So we also have sections of key takeaways, conclusion. So we'll maybe we'll turn that off for now and FAQs. I used to be quite a big fan there. It seemed to be working very well, FAQs, about six months ago, but starting to think it's not as good an idea anymore. You can also choose the size of your article. Okay, small, medium, large, right? So you set it to small and then you only get a small article. So it depends on the topic, right? Some topics only need to be small and some need to be larger, right? So in this case, let's do a large article. Next, we have the auto automated headings. So if you have it auto-generated, then the article will write them all yourself, right? The H2, H2s, H2, H3s, sorry, I should say. So, you know, if this, if you want to plan your article yourself each time, then this is for you. You can add it in here, or you can just leave blank if you want it to be auto-generated. Internal linking, right? You add your sitemap to this tool, and then it will crawl your all your website and link to relevant websites or web pages. So, this is great. It, it replaces a tool called Link Whisper, or there's plenty of them out there now that are com competition to Link Whisper. So basically, this will save you money buying that tool. Okay, and external linking, that's what we were talking about before. So you can actually include the links. This is new as far as I can see. So you can add a link to a specific page. So it could be if you were trying to link to your own other website or something like that. And you can also just scrape the internet for relative art relevant articles in your niche and language. So you can also include a list of external sources or exclude external sources, right? So there's just plenty. These are all new. So that's what I mean. Lots and lots of new features. And yeah, you can also do images. You can do AI images or stock images, depending on your needs and videos as well. So let's get started now actually creating an article. So to generate the articles, you just need to fill in all your information and then click generate article. There's also this generate outline, which I highly, highly recommend because AI tools can sometimes get a little bit lost, right? You know, they just don't know where they're going anymore. So you can control that with your outline. So here are some of the articles I've already created. Okay, so sometimes I was trying the different uh, news ones and... This is why that new feature with the keyword uh, and title, because it actually gave me 2023 and this was just last month. So you can make it 2024 and it will give you the right the right article title. So let's have a look at the top one here, the most recent one that I met, that I created. So you can see that I put in Vid Vietnami alternative here and it came up with this title, discovering the best Vietnami alternative for your video creation needs. 
That's actually not too bad. Not too bad. I like that title. Sometimes I'm getting sick of. I publish so many AI articles that I just see unleash and unlock so many times that I get a bit sick of that. To be honest, so it's good to see something a bit different here. So if you want to actually edit it, then you just go into create revision here and you'll come into a content editor like this and you can actually type and change things. So the cool thing about this is this table of contents. So you can see these are just, you know, important stuff like comparing Flex Clip with Vietnami, Pictory, and uh, they have other ones in video. So you can see your table of contents and you can add this into your article as well. So I really like the output of this tool. If you can see here, key features to look for in a Vietnamese alternative. So that's exactly what it should be, right? You know, that should be the second heading here. And I didn't put that in here. It just it came up with that itself, right? But, you know, these are the things that we should be looking for when we're looking for an, an alternative to Vietnamese. It also came up with you know, the right, the right tools, which I like, you know, this is a good alternative, right, to in video. Talk about that in some of my other videos, but look at the way it's formatted, right? There's bolding, there's quotes here. So it has to have that. It's so important nowadays that, you know, everything can, you can just see it super easy. Pros, cons, this is how I'm doing my articles as well. And it's just so good to have this done for you, right? I mean, it might not be perfect in every single way, but imagine you paid for somebody to write an article. It could be something like this and you want to add and change your own aspects of it. And actually, this is pretty good because I know myself, this is uh, one of the cons of using in video. Sometimes it takes ages and then the computer starts, you know, using the fan a lot. So really cool that it came up with that. And you know, it's not too wordy, right? Sometimes when you use ChatGPT, it can it will write five sentences for this paragraph, right? And you have to just delete it. Whereas this is just, you know, it's only a few words. Excellent. It's also got the video here. In video, perfect, right? That's exactly what you want. So it goes on to Pictory here. Again, we've got the bulleted list and, you know, different headings, the H3s and, and the pricing, right? That's definitely something people will be looking for when they're comparing these tools. So it keeps on going here and gives other noteworthy alternatives, right? And just keeps on going until the conclusion there. So to me, that is a really, really good first draft for this article, okay? So, you know, I would just look into it, keep adding, keep taking away, you know, keep editing and trying to make it better and then you can publish it. So let's look at some of the other features here we have with Journalist AI. So the customization, right? We have custom images. If you have your own images and you can use them across your articles, okay? And then the knowledge base, we talked about that where you can add your own information and your SOPs and your websites to help train the model a little bit further. These tools here are what really make it stand out, to be honest, for me, is like the auto-blogging feature, right? This allows you to automatically publish to your website, okay? So you just need to set it up one time, and then you, you can just, you know, every day publish one post or every 12 hours. So, you know, if you're a bit worried about publishing too much AI content to, and you don't want Google to see you doing some, something like that, or even just if you have a big audience, right, and they look for your new articles every day, then this is a great way to do it. So the integrations here are the different tools that you can use, right? So we have plenty here. This is what there's more than anyone else, really. If you use, most people use WordPress, I think, don't they? But uh, maybe people are using Wix. Webflow is becoming more and more popular, isn't it? Squarespace, Zapier, and uh, Webhook URLs, if you are more technical and you can want to add things to your website like that. So it, it's quite easy to do these things. Uh, it might seem a little bit complicated the first time, but there's a tutorial here if you want to watch it. And then you can publish it as a draft or as a published blog post because uh, maybe you want to check it over first as a draft, right? So they also have this indexing tool. So to use an indexer, basically just indexes it right into Google. And they also have a keyword monitor tool. Okay, so this is like uh, where they basically, you just choose your keyword and then you can see where it is coming in Google. So that's that's super cool. There's other tools that do that that you need to pay for as well. So there are also social media automations. So you can just, well, as soon as something is published, uh, as soon as something is published to your website, then you can also connect your Facebook 
or your Twitter account and it will publish a certain amount of content there as well. They're also looking at making this content update. I would really like to see this because a lot of my articles are now about four or five years old. So I would like to see them just updated. Uh, they're, they're evergreen stuff, so I don't really need outdated facts. But I think Google is punishing one of my websites because it's so old now, even though it it doesn't need to be revised really. And Google has a recency bias recently. So what you really want is a website that is old, but has, you know, updated content. That's, you know, they're the types of brands, websites that are doing well in SEO today. Okay, so that's my review of the autoblogging tool, Journalist AI. To be honest, it's in the top two or three AI writing tools that I'm using. This one and Koala AI, I probably use the most. To be honest, I don't really look at any other ones anymore. They've just won for me. I think this one especially with its automations and generally just the amount of features that it has. I really, really like it. And Koala Writer as well is also being updated regularly with super cool features. So click the link in the description if you want three bonus articles just to try it out and see if this is a tool for you.